Right now at five, we are covering the eclipse excitement. The total solar eclipse is now just hours away, and the path of totality is touching part of Pennsylvania. And we have live team coverage for you this morning for what to expect to your safety and if the clouds will break in time for the rare sight in the sky. Yeah, it's been nearly seven years since the eclipse of 2017, and we won't see another one like this until 2044. So we're around 97% totality here in Pittsburgh, but millions are excited to see the Celestial Show. Megan Shin joins us live with everything you need to know this morning. Good morning. Good morning, David and Lindsay. We know the eclipse happens when the moon moves between the Earth and the sun. It starts at 2 o'clock today and will end at 430 approximately. And here in Pittsburgh, like you said, it'll be 97% totality, so you will need these handy dandy eclipse glasses for that totality approximately at 317 today. So we do know that the sun will be blocked for a good two minutes and 17 seconds. The rule of thumb here is if any part of the sun is showing, keep those eye protections up and covering your eyes while looking at the sun with approved glasses. Now looking directly at the sun without glasses will permanently damage your vision. You must never put a pair of solar eclipse glasses over your eyes and look through a telescope or binocular. This is the great American eclipse and there's more to take in than just the sun. Animals will react, the temperature will drop, street lights will come on. We talked with the American Academy of Ophthalmology and they told us how important it is to have your solar eclipse glasses. There's really only one way to safely look at the sun, whether it's during the eclipse or not, and that's through the use of special purpose solar filters. If you don't have these glasses, First Alert Meteorologist Ray Pedlin did a whole segment on how to make these homemade devices to view the eclipse or a box or a shadow on the ground. If you still are making plans, here are a few eclipse events happening today. You can go to the Science Center for some family-friendly fun, Children's Museum or the Allegheny Observatory for viewing in Riverview Park. And later this morning, I'll tell you some hacks about photographing the big moment of the solar eclipse today and how you can protect your phone if you're an amateur photographer like myself. Make sure that it is blocked and safe like your eyes. Live at the Weston Overlook, Megan Shin, KDK TV News.